Hello everyone and welcome back to Cronus Place Sweet in 5. Today I'm back at uh, Rainwall here. Decided to meet you back here because we gotta come down here anyways. Uh, before we do that, there's actually I forgot to show someone off here. Um we can't really do anything with them just yet, but we can check out these guys right now. Get on the ramp there. At least at the very least we can check out some of them, right? Uh, excuse me. A client. Uh, a client. Oh, who cares? It's just some brat. Hey, Shiguri. Suguru? Guri? That guy? Please don't call our clients brats. Do you realize who these people are? This is Prince Frey, and this is Leon, one of the Queen's knights. Actually, I'm just an apprentice. Uh, he's a prince? Ugh! What a pain! Shiguru, Guri, whatever. Try to show some respect. Sagiri, uh, you need to do your be, be on your best behavior too. I haven't done anything. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here. I must apologize for them, your highness. Please do not take offense. Welcome to the Orboro Detective Agency. Uh, shift the, swift investigation, pri privacy guaranteed. Nothing but the straight facts. Uh, my name's Furo, and I take care of all the behind the scenes work. Uh, administration, ca accounting, and so on. Well, these two are Sagiri and Shiguru. Sure. Sh Shigura? Yeah. R Shigura? Yeah, whatever. There are investigators. These guys. Uh, nice to meet you two. We are incredibly honored that your highness and queen, the queen knights, would visit our establishment. Like I said, I'm just an apprentice. Wow, I had no idea the prince and the queen knight would even know about a little place like ours. I don't. Well, okay, I do, but they don't. Our reputation must precede us. That's clearly why you sought us out. Our investigative skills are second to none. Years ago, I was just another client seeking Detective Orboro's help. Uh, he, the sheer brilliance he used to solve my mystery moved me so. I just had to seek employment here. So I stalked him. Oh my, I feel embarrassed. <laughs> Your Highness? Our boss is out of the office at the moment. If you have some business, please come back later. Uh, later sounds good. We'll have to, we do have things we need to do. Oh, really? Well, have a good time. Thank you, we'll try. Uh, hey, girly, wait a sec. Uh, are you talking to me? I'm waiting. Mm, I'm just thinking. You're kind of cute. Excuse me? Shiguri. Shigura, whatever. Mind your manners. This is the Queen's Knight. Uh, like I keep telling everyone, I'm a still an apprentice. Uh, sorry I'm bugging you, cutie. Catch you later. Yeah, definitely be excusing us now. Shigiri, you think? I know. What kid does Hannes want us to investigate anyways? I don't know. Investigate your way into my 108 stars of destiny, please? Yeah, totally forgot to visit these guys earlier. Uh, sorry about that. But at the same time, we came back and saw it anyways. But yeah, we need to head to Raft Fleet. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so to the southwest is Raft Fleet. To the southeast is a place we can't actually get to just yet. Oh, hey, look, uh, a battle. I actually, I ran all the way from HUD down here. And I didn't get into combat at all, so no one leveled up. He going oh wow, okay, I was gonna say he could, he, I was I was like he gonna die, but he didn't die. Good for him. He's gonna level up now. Same with a uh, little elf dude back there. Only two levels each. That's shocking. But yeah, there is a town down here we can't really do anything with just yet. Um, we'll be going there later. So we want to go southwest to get the raft fleet. Ah, okay. So what we can do is 
I guess I can do that now. This is... Yeah, alright, so... Let's go to the trading place. Up here. And check rumors. There is a chance that the rumors will be like, Hey, salt has increased in price dramatically. Um, and that will enable us to recruit someone. Salt has skyrocketed. Fuck! Alright. Uh, we gotta get the Rat Fleet. Please don't change. <laughs> Please don't fucking change. Should I save before I go? I should save before I go. But even if I save before I go, there's still a chance that it could reset by the time I get down there. Alright, so that's cool. Uh, very convenient timing. That is not guaranteed. Just so we're clear, uh, you can get really unlucky when it comes to the salt prices. Uh, not... Why is... Oh, whatever. I was gonna say the date's kind of... Whatever, it's fine. Anyways, uh... Yeah, you can get unlucky when it comes to the salt prices, uh, not skyrocketing for a while. Uh, and if they don't, you can't recruit the guy, right? So, there are multiple opportunities to recruit this guy, so... Hopefully, prices haven't changed. He'll ask us to sell a bunch of salt to reduce the price. And, uh, we'll go from there. Please, 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 please. Hello? Your Highness, are you aware that the price of salt is shooting up like crazy at the moment? Salt is absolutely necessary ingredient for life. All the people are suffering. How would you, how would you lower the price, Your Highness? Uh, this. I would do this. I sell. Doesn't fucking matter. Sell all. Wow, we're getting quite the profit on this. We got a profit on all of them. Hi. Join me. Oh, your highness, you just sold a bunch of fucking salt to this guy. <laughs> Truly splendid, the way you executed your princely duties. My, my, all this talk about salt. I'm the reason the salt skyrocketed, dude. Like, I bought all the salt. <laughs> to show my appreciation, I'd like to do a little favor, your highness. Meet me out back. I mean, uh, we'll be, I'll be a uh, 108 star destiny. Here's you, youngster. Mind trading place with me for a bit? Uh, wow, you were really going to do it? Uh -huh. you have to see his highness's salesmanship. I have to. Uh, I have to see if it's. I've still got it. So he was a retired trader, merchant dude. So now he's back in business. Good for him. Uh, he doesn't really change anything. So you know that's cool. But yeah, all right, cool. That that worked out way better than I could have possibly actually. <laughs> that fucking. Oh man, that is. That has worked out way better than I could have possibly had hoped, right? Uh, so anyways, yeah, it's, uh, if you want to take part in the trading, you can. It's not super, like, important right now. You don't really need the money. If you're doing random battles, it's fine. Um, if you ever find gold and silver cheap, by all means, just grab it so you can sell it later. Uh, it's not common, though. Um, you might be able to get it cheaper up in Rainwall or HUD, but don't worry, like, the, honestly, it, 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 can, it can take a lot of effort to go through with that, so, like, the trading game. It's not super worth it, in my opinion, because you get a lot of money just by battling, and not to mention, you're gonna get prosperity pieces as we go, and there, if you're gonna keep those equipped, you're gonna get a lot of uh, money overall, right? Again, if you want to make money through trading, you're gonna spend some time doing it, and it can be rewarding if you're into that sort of thing, but at the same time, it's, eh. <laughs> it's, not, it's not my thing. But anyways, uh, you know what? I think... We can do that later. Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, you know what? Let's go check out... The inn real fast. 
Then we'll go talk to Raja. Inn was... Where's the inn? It was down here, right? To the left. I was supposed to go there sooner than later. I'll just meet you guys at the big uh, boat after this. We're not backtracking completely. I do wish we didn't have to go through those houses to get there. I don't know why they do that. It's not exactly saving loading time or anything like that. Hello. Ah, if it isn't his highness, let me whip you up something delicious. What would you like? Your highness, you gotta try the fish. You ain't gonna be able to resist uh, one of Ruzzo's males. It's not me. We've got a good river with beautiful fish, nothing more. Ah, oh, come on, Ruzzo. You ain't gotta be all modest. Tarnation, everything's so goddamn good. I always end up ordering more than I can eat, though. Ain't no way I can finish. Oh, you you have a problem with my dad's food? Nah, nah, Shaman, uh, you got it all wrong, Missy. I love your poppy's grub. Oh, I raised that fish myself, you know. I cleaned it myself. I even brought it out here myself. And now if you don't eat it, that means the fish died for nothing. Ah, oh, Shaman, no, you gotta believe me, Missy. I, if, it weren't, if it weren't that I... That's enough, Shunmin. Excuse me, kind sir. But nah, Shaman's right. Daddy taught me that life is precious. That's right, Shenmin. But next I gotta teach you the importance of manners. Daddy. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought, I was like, are we done? Like, um, uh... It looking like uh, some princely advice coming handy about now. Uh... I'll eat what you can't finish. Yo, Highness! Yeah, the prince is often to pick through my leftovers. Tarnation! Retro's man is autistic and stuff, but like one of them paintings by that, uh. That guy. <laughs> what was his name? I can't remember. Anyway, Retro's here is like one of the artistes. Huh, all this talking and making my stomach get a growling. Time to dig in. The shaman, you be nice to your pappy, you hear? Mister, I will. Please don't feel like you have to finish. Nah, uh, don't you worry, Retso. Uh, well, grab that is good. I can stuff my face here all day. So you, you actually need to see this cutscene for future recruits. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I don't. It takes a while, I think, to miss it. But yeah, anyways. Or actually, no, I think you have to see it and then come back a little bit later in the story, like, to recruit. But if you miss it, you can still come back and see the cutscene and then just go back in, I believe. And just do it now. I did say I was going to meet you guys back at the big boat, didn't I? And yet here we are, walking back to the big boat. Kind of like I couldn't shut up for a moment when we were leaving there, but... It's fine, it was only going to save less than a minute anyways. But yeah, so that's pretty much about it we can do here. You can check out the rear finds at the armor shop if you need to or want to. Um, if you're trying to save money for anything important, probably don't want to do that. But then again, the stuff that you can find there is not exactly worthwhile in terms of uh, everything. Oh, your highness. My, my. Uh, it's great to see you all right. Uh, you're all you're all right. Admiral, they must be tired from their long journey. Why don't we let them sit down in the back room? Ah, good idea. All right, then. Let's stand here. Don't just stand here. Have a seat, and then we'll talk. Everything has turned into such a nightmare. We've got lots of shop-eared folks in town, so we've already got a pretty good idea what happened. And I think I know how why you're here, Your Highness. You do? Which is not stupid. Yes. Have you heard? They're already starting drafting soldiers in Solfalena and Stormfist. Drafting soldiers you mean to fight us? I don't think that's the only reason. Lord Godwin has always been a firm believer in a strong military. 
Now that the Sun Palace is under their control, they seem to want to remake Felina in their own image. We don't like it either, Your Highness, and we'd love to help you. But to be honest, we don't want to join forces with Lord Barrows. The last thing we want is to become a pawn of the aristocracy. But Raja... Come now, don't, feel this, don't you feel the same way in your heart of hearts? Like Yu-Gi-Oh? That's the heart of the cards, Raja, but... Huh? You're aware that you're being used by that old snake, aren't you? Admiral, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? I'm not criticizing you, Your Highness. I understand you need Lord Barrow's help right now to fight the Godwins. But I hope you'll think loud and harder how long you want that partnership to continue. I'm sorry I can't be of any help to you after you've come all this way, but let me give you some advice instead. If you want allies, Your Highness, uh, you need to promote your cause. And to do that, first thing you have to do is take care of the situation in Lord Lake. You need the people's support, Prince. And if you ignore Lord Lake's problems, the people won't support you. Alright, hello. Don't fret too much, Your Highness. The Admiral can be pretty blunt at times, but she's only concerned about your welfare. Anything else? No, alright. Cool beans. How about you? I do like your painting. Uh... Oh, yeah. Why do you think he chose you? I'm easy to manipulate? Is that really what you think? Come on, your highness. Looks like more confidence from the son of Farad. Uh, that's not- can't be all that Farad Barrows is up to, though. Not enough profit. There must be other angles. If I were you, I'd be careful. Lord Barrows will be- only be your ally as long as he's got some use for you. Alright. So yeah, she's pretty much like- She's like, why is he focusing on you and not Siles, right? Because, yeah, with Arshtar gone, and if, like, our sister somehow died, Siles would be in line for the throne. Uh, another spin could it be, like, a spin Bowers could do it is that Siles should be in line for the throne next to Arshtar, right? But it's not going that route. Your Highness, just wait a moment, please. Oh, it's you. Sorry. Kasara? My husband's ship is anchored nearby. If you ever need, uh, any, have any need for it, my husband and daughter will take you anywhere you want to go. You and Lady Sazley's probably saved their lives, so the whole family's grateful. Huh? When Log and Lun tried to take the Goldust and Lunas, you brought them back here. If you had turned them over to patrol guards, they would have been brought to Solfalena. And they probably would have gotten caught up in the revolt. You may not have meant to do it, but your family feel my family feels we owe our lives to you and Lady Silides. But I won't thank you for what but I won't thank you for what happened. That would make it seem like we're happy about the events that are so painful to you, Your Highness. But we do want to show our gratitude. I can't leave the Admiral's sides, but Log and Lun will be do any everything they can to help out. Alright, hi. You'll need a boat. If I'm going to Lord Lake, you'll need a boat. Just tell my husband and he'll help you. Alright, so, hey, can you guess where we're going next? That's right! Oh, no, we're going to Lord Lake, but, uh, let's stop by the blacksmith first. Because, uh, I want to get the prince's weapons up a little bit. Uh, let's see. So, there's Lun and Log. Uh, I guess we could get... Ah, uh, nah, it's fine. Well, uh, yeah, it's fine for now. There's the blacksmith. I was gonna say we could get... Lun... Spoilers! We could get Lun into the party, the upgrade, but it's fine. We don't really need that. I'm just gonna upgrade the prince's stuff right now. Because level 7 weapons is pretty great. Uh, order of operations when it comes to best stuff is... Pretty much prince first. And then everyone else. <laughs> Whoever your favorite characters are. Uh, hello guys. The reason you want to do that is because if you get into a, a dual battle with the prince, he'll be set up. Also, he's always in the party. Oh, the prince. Oh. Uh, look, we offer our sincere. Ah, uh, too bad the queen and Farid had to kick the bucket. Hey. Ah, that really hurt. What the hell did you do that for, hmm? Shut up, Pop. How come you gotta be so insensitive? Can't you think about how the prince must feel? 
I thought I was thinking about how he was feeling. I did say too bad, you know. And that's why I told you to shut up. Excuse me. Really, please you two stop. Oh. Sorry about that, Prince. So, <laughs> I'm thinking you probably heard from the wife about this already. If it weren't for you guys, Prince, me and Pop would have probably been in big trouble. Oh, yeah. So we want to get the chance to repay Hoshua you. Hoshua was going to execute Sorry, you guys. I mean, let us repay you, your highness. Please. Oh, oh, oh right. Please, sir. Prince? All right. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Yes, you're a prince, Prince. I am. You're exactly. right. We always repay our debts twice over, you know? We're going to do our best. All right, then. You got to let us know if there be anything we can do to help you, okay? Well, I'm thinking there's some stuff we can't do, but if we can do it, <laughs> we gotta do it. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, he's right. <laughs> yeah, we want to go to Lord Lake, please. Ah, oh, Prince, uh, anything you can do to help you? Uh, we want to go to Lord Lake. Your voice Watch sounds your so familiar. I feel like I, I've heard this type of voice in like so many cartoons growing up. If you're wondering what the sparkles are, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> not bad, you think? I was gonna say, if you're wondering what the sparkles are, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but the boats in this place, they use runes to traverse, right? Um, they, they they don't rely on, like, motors or... The one, there are no motors. The motors were invented in Suikoden in 1, but they use a rune to pretty much in, take place, or replace sails, right? Alright, just mosey on down south from here and you're gonna be in Lord Lake in no time, Prince. I uh, wish I could have uh, brought in uh, uh, yeah, a little closer, actually. But the Godwin's Fortress downriver from here, so I reckon it ain't good uh, to get th too close here with this ship. Don't worry, Prince. Stay close to the mountains and those fortress guys will never see you. Well, let's get going, Prince. Huh? You're coming along too, lad? Of course! I told you tonight, Raffley women always repay our debts twice over. And <laughs> we have a lot of debt. Uh, Pop, make sure to take good care of the ship while I'm gone. Don't go off boozing or anything like that. I ain't gotta do that. Just so long as you don't go doing anything with the prince, I wouldn't approve of you, yeah? Which is not that much, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, pretty approving of most things, prince. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Like, uh, nah, I'm good, dog. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so Lun is in the party now. She's level 5 because... Why wouldn't she be any higher? Uh, she has good fire and water magic affinity. Well, B is not really good. It's average, but it's fine. She's mostly a physical fighter anyways. Uh, she does come with a pierce technique or skill, which is not great. It's all right, but it's it's okay. Uh, she's good with te technique. Uh, she does get access to some combo or, you know, hybrid skills later on. But nothing to write home about. She's she's decent. She's a good physical fighter if need be. Um, are there better? Oh yeah, absolutely. But you know she's pretty all right. Put up front. There we go. Uh, why am I in the hungry wolf tactic? That was weird. That was weird. All right, there we go. I don't know why that was. Honestly, you know what? You're right. He probably should be in the middle, the uh, Reef Mifa dude, because he's actually slightly stronger than him when it comes to fighting. By slightly, I mean he is totally stronger than that guy when it comes to fighting. So let's head down south. 
and I was actually expecting, I was going to say, I was expecting to get into a random encounter. Hey, new music, huh? Ow. Well, good job, everyone. You didn't kill anything. Really? Hey, a counter orb! Holy shit! That's pretty good, actually. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on anyone right now, but you could totally put that on someone. <laughs> Just, uh, not me right now. So that is... You, you might be looking at that like, ah, oh, what's that dam doing there stopping all the water? Uh, we'll, uh, worry about that in a second. And by a second, I mean not right now. But, uh, it is pretty shitty looking at that, right? Because, you know, Lore Lake got fucked up. And now there's a dam stopping any water from going there. Yeah, just keep, you pretty much follow the destruction down here and you'll get to Lord Lake. Actually, it's... Yeah, there, there is literally just all this destruction, huh? Oh, these guys. Hey, a boar. Don't be a boar. Prince. Oof, one. I guess I could have put the water rune on him. I got the last hit. Ooh. Hey, power piece. Uh, power rune would be actually pretty good to put on Lun as well. Uh, she, since she is mostly a physical fighter, does lower her defense a lot, though. Um, actually, let's check out your stats, because you guys gained a few levels, huh? So yeah, we got uh, 65. She does actually have pretty alright magic, though that does change later on uh, as she gets leveled up. Oh, uh, yeah, your your attack's actually doing really good now with uh, 106. Uh, your speed is not bad either, actually. Your technique sucks, and your accuracy kind of sucks as well. Yeah, his uh, his magic is a lot better than uh, everyone else's in the party, except for mine. But I am 10 levels, or 7 levels higher than him. 6 levels, grown. Whatever, math. You know what? Let's save before we do anything else. Just in case. <laughs> you never know. Hello. Ah, Prince, your highness. Is that you? I'm so sorry that what happened to your, your highness. Please allow me to offer my deepest sympathy. Actually, wow, Jesus, how did I pr voice you? I think I just talked like this. I do this, my standard old person voice. And so what brings you to Lord Lake today? Also, I think you do sound like this. You must be very busy, your highness. What business could you have in a town with a little more than ruins? That's a little more than ruins now. Uh, we want you to become our allies? Your highness, I'm afraid that would be impossible. Uh, tell... Gil Talgil? The people here haven't forgotten what Her Majesty did. I'm ashamed to admit it, but some have even openly uh, declared openly that her death was divine judgment from the heavens. I'm afraid there's far too emotional to listen to you objectively. Hold on a second. All that, all that wasn't the prince's fault, you know. Yes, you're absolutely right. But two years is a long time. Long enough to make it difficult for Lord Lake to be rational about it now. I guess I got no comeback for that. I'm sorry. But there is one thing I can promise you, Your Highness. We will never ever side with the Godwins either. They're the very reason we're suffering like this. The reason this town has become so desolate. Lord Lake was scarred by the Sun Rune, but it could still have come back to life with the access to water. 
but even our water was stolen from us. Uh, stolen by the Godwin's Hatred Fortress. <laughs> They're not very subtle with the name! The Fortress dammed up the Fatus River, and so this town had to live completely without water for two years. Her Majesty might have given permission, but it was the Godwins who built and continued to maintain that fortress. The people of Lord Lake will never forgive them. I can guarantee you that. Alright, so there's really not much else we can do here. Um, I don't... Eh, is that doctor still here? You're still here. You're always here. Prince, sorry if we can't be more sympathetic with you. We've got enough trouble of our own to deal with. Eh, at least you seem somewhat hesitant about it now. Oh yeah, you are still here. Hello. You again, you disturb the patients. Stop coming here. The patients have enough problems of their own to worry about. I'd offer you my sympathies, but I'm afraid I'm fresh out. Rude. But, then again, they were literally nuked by our mother. So, I'm not... Well, it's not literal. No, it actually is fucking almost literal. It's the power of the sun brought down on them. That is... <laughs> it's, it's fucking being nuked. Uh, Jesus. But, yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, I mean, I get it. I wouldn't... I would be pretty fucking pissed off about it, too, to be quite honest. But at the same time, like, I didn't do it. But yeah, it, like he was saying, rationale, there's just... Really none. It's, uh... They they were pissed at our mother for the longest time. With every reason to be. Alright, so... Uh, we need to head back up to Log and take the raft back to... Uh... Raft fleet. Uh, we'll do that on screen and probably just walk back to Rainwall off screen because there's really nothing to that there, but we'll go back now. Um, oh God, you're so fucking creepy. <laughs> God, you're so creepy, man. But yeah, I'm gonna let's head up north. But yeah, this that's the Hatred's Fortress. What a name, Hatred Fortress. All right, a couple more levels there. I always really like that about Suikin and stuff, is that their, their leveling up system makes swapping in people so easy. Like, yeah, they might come into the party weak, but they're going to level up pretty fast, and eventually they'll catch up. It's, uh, it's so much more convenient with the amount of party members you can have compared to, like, other games that have, like, I don't know, 10 party members, but you only get to use four of them, but the people in that aren't in your party don't get experience. It's like, okay, god damn it. So either I'm gonna stick to these, like, three party members and never touch the rest of them, or do grinding. Uh, judging by the look on your face, uh, I guess it didn't go too well, huh? Well, these things are gonna happen. No use fretting over too bad. You could try going back and coming again, uh, going back and then coming back again later, Prince, what do you say? Uh, yeah, sounds like a good plan. Yeah, you've got it. Just climb on board, then. Alright, here you are, Prince. Whenever you need the ship, Prince, just stop on by. So she leaves the party. Uh, for now, but she leaves the party stronger. Probably should rest at an inn. To get my stats, my magic back. Um, I don't want to put a. Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna put on um the water room with him. I'm uh, look. To be honest, when it comes to Cornholio over there, I'm not gonna be like using him for stuff outside of recording the elves and right now. Right? He's really not worth it. <laughs> in terms of actual combat. But in terms of getting the elves, sure, I will use him then. But not really any time in between that. Anyways, that is it for this episode. We need to go back to Rainwall, which we'll do uh, next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see y'all then. Bye.